This is Hollywood, a place, an industry, a state of mind, world capital and small town, all wrapped into one. Hollywood is more than a trade name. It is a symbol for magic, entertainment, and make-believe. Here, magic carpets fly. Rome is built in a day. Flowers bloom in profusion throughout the seasons. And romance is just around the corner, any corner. Let's have a good look at the most publicized, glamorized, criticized town on earth, where movies are made. And, of course, movies made Hollywood. The motion picture studios are not all located right here. They are spread over a large area and neighboring towns, which, as far as film production is concerned, is generally known as Hollywood. Let's sneak in. Good, says the director. The ever-changing scenery of California is most suitable for motion picture making. From one extreme to another, we always find the ideal background to tie in with the story that is to be told on film. The similarity in nature of every country on Earth is here, within easy reach of the studios. Here is a never-ending variation of color and scenic wonder, a good reason why the film industry grew up in California. The vivid poppy is the state flower of California, quite appropriate. There are also the fragrant orange and lemon groves, which in importance are only second to the motion picture industry, which means gold to the West. All this is surrounded by rich oil wells. The famous movie colony has many attractions, and the tourists never miss Beverly Hills. The homes of the stars are showy and different. Spanish architecture prevails everywhere. But here is one right out of a fairy tale book. And a Swedish farmhouse, but with peach blossoms. This is not Mexico, we're still right in Hollywood. The tiny hummingbird thrives in the semi-tropical climate of Southern California. And he's a regular visitor in every man's garden. He is the only bird in existence who can stop in midair and even back up. And now to the very heart of the glamorous city of fame and riches and of broken dreams, Hollywood Boulevard. Here is that main stem where movie-struck hopefuls for two generations have beaten the pavement in hope of a future in the films. The shops are many and exciting. Hollywood signals many new trends in fashions. Yes? even in Western styles. On the boulevard, we find the much publicized Chinese theater, a must on the tourist's itinerary. Its forecourt is a mecca for sightseers where the movie great have made a lasting impression with nearly a hundred top names in the cement walk. Boyer stuck his foot in it too. Of course, you've already heard about Hollywood Bowl, so here it is. On a special Mother's Day program, we find Cornell Wilde at the microphone introducing Lawrence Melchior, who carries a lot of weight in musical circles. Here he is seen singing a popular Danish song, which the audience seems to enjoy. Dividing his time between the opera and the movies, Melchior now lives in Hollywood. An audience of 30,000 is not unusual in this, the world's largest natural amphitheater, where the acoustics cannot be matched by any other concert bowl in the world. Hollywood is also becoming the center of television. Many of the big national programs are originated in this city of stars and talent and technical know-how. This new industry is about to make Hollywood even greater in the field of entertainment. Writers, directors, cameramen, and many of the big star names are flocking to the new way of life. Films produced especially for TV is growing into a gigantic industry, and Hollywood is certainly able to meet all the demands. Chinatown, like everything in this incredible city, is bright and showy. Shops and restaurants draw a sizable crowd until way after midnight. Hollywood has lent its touch 
as many Chinese participate in films. The Mexican section centers around Olvera Street, where young senoritas bask in the sun. Fifth of May is the Mexican Day of Independence, which is celebrated with music, dancing, and laughter. On the steps of City Hall, our Latin Americans go all out for floral display and entertainment, and a wealth of feminine charm on the sidelines. Tito Guizar has long been a favorite, and at fiesta time, he's sure to be around. The merry old tunes are familiar to everyone. Mexican star Lina Romay takes time out from her movie work to participate in the celebration. Her compatriots love her. In fact, the love affair seems to be quite mutual. <laughs> <laughs> 